with wind, rain and some high elevation snow in the forecast this weekend. Some of you are likely thinking ahead to what might be in store for winter. Our meteorologists say a La Nina is taking shape. Meteorologist Casey Dorn explains what that is and how it impacts that seasonal forecast. A weak La Nina is developing in the Pacific Ocean. This means water in a part of the Pacific is cooler than average. Let's see what longtime Coloradans know about what this means for our fall and winter weather. Well, I've heard La Nina means it's going to be more dry. La Nina impacts Colorado's weather differently from fall to winter. So I know they're the, well, the, the temperature of the Pacific Ocean, kind of weather formations, and that the moisture can affect the snowfall in different times of the year. In winter months, La Ninas usually produce above average temperatures over the plains, but not the mountains. For precipitation, in winter it's complicated. In general, La Ninas tend to favor above average mountain moisture in December and January with normal precipitation over the plains. In the fall, active La Ninas produce gusty winds and dry air, which can lead to high fire danger. Thankfully this year, we had relatively consistent rainfall in late summer to keep the fire danger low. So La Ninas are commonly associated with warmer and drier weather here in southern Colorado, but there is more to the story. This is a relatively weak La Nina event, which limits the impact it will have either way on our weather patterns. With a weak La Nina, other large-scale weather patterns play more of a role in the long-range forecast. The developing La Nina ultimately fuels our active fall jet stream pattern, and this means you can expect above average temperatures and below average precipitation this fall. But because it's weak, we'll still get decent snow in the first part of winter. But the best storms will be in the first few months of next year. Meteorologist Casey Dorn, News 5.